Put your hands together for Pratik Jaju! Hey, hey! Guys, thanks a lot for coming. I get so excited seeing a lot of people these days. Like, everybody is happy, everybody is dating. Yeah, it's a really good environment right now. But I feel like the pandemic dating was great as well. Yeah, we saved so much money. <laughs> Those video calls did not take a time. No late night Uber rides, no $15 vodka shots, and no having to buy anybody avocado toast in the morning. <laughs> Yeah, sure, I didn't get late for a year, but I paid off my student loans. I'm so ready, guys. Uh, yeah, I feel um, it's a tough crowd for me to confess something right now. Um, I am one of those guys who left New York during the pandemic. I know, I know, guys, you're pretty angry at me right now, but like, hold on to your tomatoes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, in my defense, Seattle was a bit more, you know, uh, interesting at that point. Uh, you remember they occupied a police station for a month. Yeah, New York is, guys, we cannot pull that off. Like, after two days, we'll be like, oh, I want to go back to the gym. <laughs> my, my triceps are going bad. I cannot pull that off. And Seattle was like so, like the taxes are so low in Seattle. I first, I was feeling like I'm getting robbed in New York. <laughs> like I was getting a mortgage every time I get a yogurt in the city. <laughs> Anyways, I realized like uh, how much New York is different than any other city in US. Yeah, uh, in Seattle, my apartment was so big, I didn't even know what to do with my living room. <laughs> like sitting in my own living room, on my own couch, felt out of my comfort zone. <laughs> and then I got a really bright idea, guys. Uh, I was like, uh, I should change my living room into a partition bedroom and rent it out. New York style, amazing idea, right? <laughs> Guess what? I got no takers for that. <laughs> Literally homeless people showed up. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you know, I realized um, one more thing. I saw very rare human species there. Babies. <laughs> How often do we see babies in New York? Like, <laughs> I think everybody knows, if New Yorkers want to have a baby, you have to take M-Track and drop off to the next station, New Jersey. <laughs> Accidents are very expensive here. <laughs> yeah, so New York is just for grown-ups, you know. Uh, we go out to work, we go out for rallies, but when it comes to taking care of a real human being, that's where we draw the line. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like there should be a board at the entrance of the city which says, for mature audience only, you'll see some nudity, public urination, and jaywalkers. <laughs> this area is for entertainment purposes only. <laughs> yeah, um, so, you know, Seattle got pretty lonely, by the way. Like, um, you know, I was missing my parents' level lonely. So I was browsing a lot of internet and uh, I came across a stat that in New York there are two girls for every guy. I was like, why did I fucking move? <laughs> yeah, but then I thought like, that's what the higher taxes in the city, I'll just call it a booty tax and move over. <laughs> and uh, I was pretty lucky guys, like I found my first girl very quickly in the city, yeah. I moved in with my mom right away. <laughs> but I was still looking for my second girl. And uh, you know, uh, pandemic dating was great. I really like, enjoyed it. But you know, when I realized the pandemic is getting over, uh, when being in your 30s and living with your mom became uncool again. <laughs> so I moved out. 
and uh, I found myself like a flex bedroom and a bathroom to share with four guys, <laughs> like New York style. And uh, you know, um, I'm really enjoying the caveman side me now, like going out in hunt of food every day, fighting off the crazies, and uh, looking for validation from complete strangers. <laughs> guys, thanks a lot. This was my time.